guys. We, uh, you're getting closer to me. <laughs> no, it's because uh, I'm in a shorter car today. Uh, it's my daughter's little uh, Ford Fiesta. It's uh, they're a nice little car, but uh, I prefer something a bit bigger. Positioning the uh, phone on the uh, windscreen was a bit awkward as well, actually. So I'm just uh, popping into town, going to get a bit of shopping for tea. Uh, not a lot happening, as usual. Very little ever actually happens in my life. Anyway, uh, yeah, my car is dead, officially. Um, I mean, yeah, all right, I can sp spend a bit of money to find out if it has done any top-end damage to the engine, but the, the cam belt went. Uh, so I had to sort of abandon the car. Uh, well, I did I sort of like pulled up on a, a roadside, got off the busy road sort of thing, got pulled up. And then uh, we, I had somebody come and help me, because uh, those C5 estates weigh a bloody ton. And we pushed it up a bit of a bank and put it on um, the drive of a friend's house. So fortunately I wasn't far from somebody there I knew sort of thing. And it stayed there till, uh, was it the next day or a day later, I think something like that. And uh, I had to, uh, somebody who had all the equipment come and uh, help me tow it and we towed it back actually to work because there's a garage saw like about five doors up from us uh, and I was just messing on with it and he came and had a quick look for me and uh, he said yeah your cam belt's definitely gone so that was that basically uh, so it's going to be scrapped I mean it's it's, uh, it's about 11 years old anyway, just over now, it's about 11 and a half years old. So it sort of left us in the lurch a bit because we were hoping it would go another month uh, when the MOT runs out and we'll uh, get rid then and uh, probably get another C5 estate because we like them for the, uh, for the size. But. Uh, So I left us a bit in the lurch, so we haven't got quite enough money, so uh, I found another one down the village, just a private sale, it's a 54 plate uh, VW Passat Estate, uh, 1.9 diesel, which uh, seems pretty tidy, it's just had a cam belt put on it and some other bits and pieces and what have you, and of course when they do the cam belt and then they usually do the water pump at the same time, so that, that done. Um, it's just getting its brakes checked and everything, it's MOT till next May. So I mean even if I only get sort of like a, a year out of it, I suppose I'll be happy. Um, if the ladders don't fit in the back of it, because they're not quite as long as the C5, but if the ladders don't fit in the back then um, I'm in the white wheelchair. Sorry about that guys, we got interrupted by a phone call there. Um, it wasn't a very good connection either. Where was I? Yeah, so anyway, I've got this uh, other car, and if it lasts uh, a year or so, I'll be happy with that. Um, well, so I'll tell you what I found out. Uh, what was I doing? I was, I can't remember how I found it now, but it was, it was to do with the, uh, the new camcorder I've got. And uh, what I came across was a battery pack. Now, it's not a, it's not a, a new battery for the camcorder itself. It is one of these, um, you know, external battery packs that you would normally buy for your mobile phone. But this one is um, said capable of charging the camcorder. Well, I never even thought of that. And if you look back in my videos, there's one by, uh, there's uh, one I reviewed by uh, New Trend on my tech site, on my tech uh, channel. And it was a New Trend. IMP 120D, I think, which is a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. And I thought, hmm. So what I did was I uh, gave it a try, and believe it or not, it uh, it charges it. It gave it a full charge. 
you know, externally. So uh, I'm quite pleased about that, actually. Um, I mean, one thing that I wish they would do with these uh, camcorders, I don't know why, but they've started going with these uh, charging with the battery in business. And you have to pay extra if you want one of the uh, external chargers, you know, where you can so you can charge like a second battery on. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know why they've started doing it. I wish they'd put like the, uh, you know, the one so you can like charge a battery up, use it, and have another one on charge at the same time. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm at Tesco's now, so I'll get back to you in a minute. It's warm today. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a storm last night, actually, uh, which was it was well in the distance. I remember letting the dogs out. I was, uh, I think it was about like one o'clock in the morning, something like that, I let the dogs out. And uh, I thought, I'm sure I just saw like a, you know, like the glow, the, the sort of like the uh, reflection flash. Uh, and uh, yes, we did get a very low rumble, but it was well in the distance, but we did get rain, we chucked it down. Uh, but it's been drying up quick. Every time we get a bit of rain, and uh, it'll dry up quickly, we keep getting a few spots here and there. Uh, and then the wife's carer, uh, they got quite a, a scare last night. Um, they have an electric pylon that's only about uh, 100 yards from the house, and that got struck twice last night. <laughs> they live a fair way across on the walls, like so. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a hell of a rattle when it strikes close like that. I think the most frightening roar I've ever heard off a lightning storm would be hitting a Dutch barn. And by God, did that rattle. So, uh, yeah, it's been uh, one of those weekends where I could have done with getting some stuff done in the garden, really, but it's been sort of on and off weather. And then, you know, just in my situation, it can be a little awkward sometimes. But I have had a couple of late rise mornings, to be fair as well. It's been uh, yeah, it's been a, an odd weekend again as usual. But yeah, I went and had a look at that car on uh, was it, uh, Friday because I got home early Friday because uh, I'd done that extra work at the beginning of the week. Uh, oh, and just in case you don't, uh, some of you don't know, uh, I'll insert a photo here. And that is a, a picture of my uh, speeding ticket that I did get, uh, which was um, Tunbridge Wells, uh, working down in the Hastings area. And it was going there, and we it was all, I mean, I think I mentioned it in another blog, in, uh, vlog that I did, it was all a bit stressful, so I get in there, and we had our, where we were staying changed and all that sort of thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's in, you know, shit happens, doesn't it? So yeah, but I've got a, I'll put, I'll put the picture in where I just said anyway. Yeah, of me, uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, obviously this this got sent to the the van hire company, who then returned it with the details of the firm who had hired it out, and then we got a letter through at work. They have to then provide the information of who was driving the van. And obviously he said, well, there were two people away in that van, so we need the photographic evidence. Uh, and when it came through, sure enough, um, you know, you can tell it was me. I mean, it's, you know, they're not the most clear of photographs, but, you know, when you know there's only two people away in the van, it's pretty obvious which one's driving. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Because that'll be, uh, because of the speed, I don't think I'll get off at the, uh, the speeding course thing either for my points. I think it'll just be a straight uh, fine and three points, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to wait for that to come through and surrender my license. So, that'll be good fun. What was it 40, 41 in a 30 zone? which is quite a lot over really, um, but I did have to sort of like put a bit of spurt on to get past. There was so, definitely some in parked by the roadside, I don't know whether it was a car park there, but I remember there being some cones, so it might have been some, some minor roadworks and that's, and there you go. And I had to put a bit of speed on to get up a bit of bank, because there was some traffic coming the other way. I'd already started to overtake, saw the traffic, put my foot down and quite a quick 
van actually knows Fords. So, uh, yeah. So that'll make me a bit lighter in the pocket. Why has he got his lights on? You don't need your lights on this time of day, mate. It's light enough. Yeah, I'm hoping to pick this car up uh, either tomorrow or the night after, possibly. I think he's going to have it ready, try and have it ready for tomorrow night. Uh, it's, uh, I pointed out something on it when I was having a look around and we took it out for a spin. And uh, the brake fluid light was on. But of course, if it's just had some work done on its brakes, there's a possibility they've left a small leak, or it could be that the um, an air bubble had worked its way up into the into the reservoir and caused the fluid to drop. Uh, in which case, that would cause it to show up. But uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't see any leaks. Put it that way. So uh, yeah, I'm sort of looking forward to getting that anyway and getting my life sorted out again in that respect. And I hopefully have it for uh, Wednesday anyway, because the wife uh, has to go for one of her hospital appointments where she needs her a big chair, really, because uh, she needs the comfort, because uh, for this particular appointment she has to sit for about an hour in the chair. And her smaller chair just isn't comfortable enough to sit for that moment tonight. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it was great my daughter lent me her car while she's unable to drive anyway, but... So uh, I'm sure she'll. Uh, I'm sure she'll remind me of it the next time she wants something. <laughs> and here we are back at home. So I will uh, get back in touch with you guys after I've had my uh, beef tea, or during preparing it. Yes, you heard me right, beef that wasn't much more than a chicken so I thought well I'm feeling a bit down beef's my favourite meat so I'm getting a lump of beef so I'll catch you guys in a bit I've just heard a bit of thunder looks like we're in for another storm I swear I'm going to batter him one day. Makes you jump out of your skin sometimes. The thrips are thriving. They have done my head in all day. They've been on the kitchen counters. They've been all over my skin. Apparently they bite, or some do. Whatever you want to call them, thrips, thunderbugs, they do your bloody head in. I think we've had a bit of a swarm of them, to be honest. There's that many of them. Yeah, there's a bit of thunder now. Don't know if the mic's picking it up, it might be, might not be. So yeah, we're gonna be <coughs> getting another little storm. It's looking sort of like it might. But anyway, tea's done. Beef and Yorkshire pudding dinner. That was lovely. Absolutely enjoyed that. Got a little bit of beef left and some Yorkshire puddings left, which I've put in the freezer. So that's it, I'm sorted. So yeah, the vlog endeth here, and uh, I think I'll catch you guys next time, okay? So take care, and I'll see you next time guys, bye.